Hey everybody, Holly Warner here, hopping on to talk a little bit about B12 deficiency. Now, those of you who are following a carnivore diet are probably not deficient in B12. However, if you are, there's a couple of things I wanna look at. So we have to look at certain levels within the body. We have precursors. We have vitamins and minerals that work together in a synergy. And then we have other ones that mess you up by mimicking symptoms of something like B12 deficiency. However, it's actually something completely different like copper imbalance or copper deficiency. B12 deficiencies in some of my patients have come across where I look at it and I go, but you're carnivore and you're eating enough that you should have adequate B12. And then I look at them and I go, you're not eating organ meats. You're not getting any, any oysters in you. Oysters are a great source of copper. You're not eating any, any organ meats. So again, that zinc copper balance is going to be thrown out. Liver is really important, guys. You've got to be eating the organ meats. If you're not doing nose to tail, then for the love of all cows holy, please supplement with some desiccated liver capsules. You can even make your own. You can dehydrate them. It's really easy to do. There are great brands out there. Primal, whatever it's called, Ancestral Primal or Primal Defense. They have some good ones. There's lots of good ones out there. Um, we can test your plasma uh, zinc to see your copper zinc balance. However, plasma copper is sufficient. Zinc protects you from copper deficient or um, toxicity. So you want to make sure you're getting adequate amounts of that. But that, that same token, you want to make sure that you don't have inadequate amounts of copper. So copper deficiency mimics B12 deficiency. You're looking at neurological symptoms. You're looking at your balance can be thrown off. Coordination issues. Like all of a sudden you find you're not coordinated and you kind of go, oh, maybe I needed a better night's sleep but it goes on, it's long-term. Take note of that, that can be a copper deficiency. A pale complexion. Now, I spray tan, got my color from a booth. So sometimes it's hard to tell, I'll check my inside of my belly button. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But a pale complexion does signify copper deficiency, something to take note of. What else do we have here? Anemia, low level of specific white blood cells. When we do a WBC, a white blood cell count, we're looking at your neutrophils. And when those neutrophils are low, it's indicative of something more detailed, such as a copper deficiency. What else do we have? Fatigue, weakness. If you're finding that you're a little bit weak, you're fatigued, a lot of people think, oh, I'm tired, I need B12. I'm tired, I need iron. But nobody says, I'm tired, I need copper. Hmm, that's a problem. Getting sick often. If you find yourself always like run down and getting sick, that can be another indication of really low copper levels. Memory issues. I get patients that come to me and they're like, oh, I'm low in B12. And I'm like, how's your memory doing? And they're like, what? Yeah, I'm gonna look at your copper because your copper's probably really fucking low. What else do we have? Cold sensitivity. Can I go back to that memory one for a second? learning issues. So if you're having trouble like just processing stuff and learning, that can also be copper. These are a few of the things that are going to kind of trigger you into going, oh, maybe I should have my copper tested. You could just do a plasma, a plasma. That's your blood. You don't need to go RBC. You don't need to go into the tissues. Let's see what's floating around in your blood and go from there. Liver is a great source. It's going to balance out that copper zinc ratio, which you want. Again, um, nose to tail, super important. You can do oysters, those are another great source of copper. And obviously they're great for your, hey, sexy time libido, so get them in you. Okay, that's it. I did this all in one shot in under five minutes. Woo! I think that's a first. Any hoozle, if your doctor hasn't tested your copper levels, ask them to. And if they won't, and you wanna do some really in-depth testing, come see me and my practitioners, and we will test whatever it is we need to test. Something else that's super fun is that if you wanna go over in-depth into your blood work on Carnivore, hit me up. I got a package for that. We'll go through everything. It's super friggin' detailed. I'll go through ranges and markers and what I see that pertains to you. What else you should be looking at? If there's more testing I think you should do, we'll delve into that. And of course, I'm going to be launching a couple of things in the upcoming weeks that are going to blow your minds. So, see you later. <laughs> for all the people that hate when I play with my hair, that's for you. Bye.